That's all she wrote. Mr. Tucker with a field goal with seconds remaining. It's good, but the Steelers hang on to get a 17 to 10 win at Baltimore to wrap up the season and finish at 10 and 7. Although the price they paid may be looming if they make it to the postseason. He left after his 19th sack. He had two in the football game. T.J. Watt didn't return with a knee injury. We'll continue to follow that story. We'll have the latest of those Coons Quality Food Sports tomorrow. Reports beginning at 5.15 a.m. and every half hour until 7.45 a.m. With me, your Pratt Pack on KDK Radio. And, of course, everything that's the NFL on the Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday Show. Once again, very steady. Mason Rudolph, 152 yards, a touchdown pass, a 71-yarder to Deontay Johnson. And Najee Harris, first three seasons as the Steeler, 1,000 yards in each and... He pays dividends again today, 112 yards rushing and a touchdown. Steelers, even though they were facing many of the backup players for Baltimore, didn't make many mistakes in a game that was full of a lot of inclement weather. But Mason Rudolph just very steadily showing the world that he belongs in the National Football League, maybe even as a starter moving forward of what he has done in recent weeks. Steelers win 17 to 10. Now, here's the scenario. You have to have Miami beat Buffalo. That's the Sunday night or tomorrow or Jacksonville lose to Tennessee, or that game ends up in a tie. And coming up tonight, if the Colts and Texans tie, that will also benefit the Steelers heading into the postseason. So a lot of scenarios, but the one thing they had to do, they did. They got a 17-10 win at Baltimore. Don't forget, more sports at 93.7thefan.com. Long day has come to an end, but in just a few hours, back again, KDKA, 100.1 FM AM 1020 right after the CBS Radio News at 5 a.m. It's your Pratt Pack. Steelers win it 17-10. to 10. Good night, everybody.